Almost everyone I know loves the fall season, and so here are my essentials that I want to recommend for you guys when it comes to fall fashion 2020. first one is what I call transitional pieces. Pretty simple, it's for the transition between summer to fall and fall to winter. And the main focus for these is mainly for your own comfort and the temperatures dropping. So this is gonna include anything that is a long sleeve. So normal long sleeves like this one here from Uniqlo, and I really like that brown color palette. I've got this thin overshirt from Lululemon and work shirt from Uniqlo as well. I really like these items because one doesn't have a collar and has a pretty sleek look, while the other is a simple work shirt. And I've just been appreciating buttoning both of these up to the top just for a little bit of fun and a tighter cinched vibe and you could also throw flannels under this category as well also turtlenecks are a great sophisticated look that you just don't see enough i really dig that dark muted orange tone for a turtleneck but a black one or a gray one will do just fine and of course how can you forget the hoodie? This has probably been a staple because of quarantine. And a great way to switch it up this year is something I've been seeing a lot online. And that is going to be tying your hoodie or work shirt around your body. Kind of like a sling bag or a shell jacket that has a sling to it as well. And whenever you do this, it's going to add a pop of color or a contrast in fabric texture that I've really been digging. And especially when it comes to the hotter fall days, you can take off your overshirt or whatever it is and tie it around your body instead of your waist. And it just has a better look to it. And last of my transitional pieces is of course the puffer vest. These are hella under underrated and I also don't see these enough out there. They're great, especially this one from the Uniqlo U collection. It's very light, but also very warm. If you are gonna go with Uniqlo, make sure you stick to the Uniqlo U collection because those are a lot slimmer, a lot lighter, and, and not as puffy, that way you don't look like a marshmallow. I like rocking this underneath a hoodie or a long sleeve. It's a very versatile item that doesn't get enough love. Go wild with any of these transitional pieces that I recommended get different sizing, get different colors. These items are just meant to hold you off until you're underneath a thick parka coat come Christmas time. And just to be clear, these transitional pieces aren't jackets. They're either overshirts, long sleeves, or thick crew necks, whatever it is. And now we can move on to the next essential, which are jackets. Any jacket of your choice, there are plenty. You guys know what is out there. My jacket of choice that I've been starting to wear a lot more is this denim jacket from way back in the day. This is for my girl's grandpa that we share. And I also like this North Face parka for inclement weather. Obviously yours will probably be different. It might be a leather jacket, a bomber, or a varsity jacket. I have all those as well. All of that is totally up to you. Your preferences are gonna change day by day. I also really like this worker's jacket with a furry collar, but like I said, choice is yours. Our next essential is another underutilized item that old Johnny would have recommended, but he was actually right about, and those are tank tops. This could be categorized under transitional pieces as well, but wait Johnny, I thought this was a fall video. Yes it is, and the main reason you want a tank top for the fall season is that collar. See, you're never gonna see a regular shirt designed with a collar like this. And that is why I've always liked tank tops as an underlayer piece. Maybe I didn't get it right back in the day and had a weird style, but for those hotter fall days, maybe a tank top and a denim jacket or a work shirt will be cool enough for you. And for whenever it gets colder, maybe a tank top and a puffy bomber jacket might be the move. But the choice is yours. To me, it gives your outfit a little bit more of a retro look. But also, if you do this, I do recommend wearing some neckwear, you know, whether that be a bandana, because, you know, it's 2020, you gotta cover your face, or it could be in the form of jewelry, because my collarbones will just stick out It'll just look kind of weird. Now moving on, we got beanies, hats, and crew socks. I already made a dedicated video on hats and beanies and how they make your fits 10 times better. But to keep it short, it's just a great accessory for those days where you don't feel like doing your hair while giving your outfit a pop of color and texture. And crew socks, they just make sense during the winter time. You know, they're longer, they'll cover more surface area on your skin, therefore keeping you warmer. And for hats, they're just like beanies, but more of a year round thing. People don't like wearing beanies during the summer. I do it anyways, but with all of these, go crazy with the colors, get as many colors as you want, because like I said, it's a great way to add a pop of color to an outfit. And here's what I have in my wardrobe. I have plenty of dad hats, I have a trucker hat, and I have a lot of beanies, and a ton of crew socks in many different colors. You don't really see how much these items have an impact on your outfits until you take it off. Take the beanie off and you're gonna lose texture and color on the top of your head and body, as well as have a messy head of hair. <laughs> While crew socks is a massive change from transitioning your pants to the kicks, to just having your ankles show, which is gonna be more for the spring and summer vibes. Now this next one could also be part of transitional pieces, but I didn't wanna make that segment so long that you guys got bored. But that's gonna be technical layers or fabrics designed with warmth in mind. Is that bars? 
I think that's bars. For me, that's going to be Uniqlo Heat Tech. This technology really does keep you hella warm. I wore this underneath an anorak the other day when it was 57 degrees, and that's going to be 13.9 degrees Celsius for you guys everywhere else. It was honestly pretty chilly, but Heat Tech came through kept me warm. So I want you guys to think of it like this. This is how I go about my day. It's either going to be a thicker jacket with a tank top or it's going to be a thinner jacket with heat tech. It really depends on my mood and the temperature that day. So I got plenty of options and you guys can as well if you guys go down this route. And last but not least are earth tones. Enough said, you just got to get any colors that you see around the neighborhood. I just recently moved to Brooklyn and there is an insane color palette to take inspiration from. Here in Brooklyn, there's your standard earth tones like brown, olive, cream and all that. But there's also many other colors more like nude, burgundy, like this beanie right here. There's plenty of those to take inspiration from. Just look around your neighborhood or you can look up earth tones online. There are plenty of colors. Earth tones are a year round thing, especially for guys, but it's definitely the time to embrace the earth tone color palettes because of fall season, pumpkin spice lattes and autumn colors. And I'm serious about this guys. This is going to be the last studio uh, filming area that you're going to see. You guys saw me move from uh, one place in Albuquerque, back to my parents, and then back to my friend's place in New York, and now I'm finally here. So I'll be here for a while. And let me update you guys on my place real quick. Here's a really quick short tour of the place, guys. Got my shelf right here in my bed with no sheets on it. I got my, there's my desk. Um, there's some trash and other stuff. There's a living area with no couch yet. Uh, closet, but here's the best part guys. This is two arms length deep. So it's about 10 feet wide and about four, three, four feet deep. Plenty of storage. Here's my shirts. I uh, have a few sneakers, you know, the grail sneakers, you know, pants and all that. And in this drawer, it holds my crew socks, my boxers, and of course, jewelry from the sponsor of today's video, Rolls Gold and Black. So let me go ahead and thank them real quick. I will always recommend these bar necklaces for you guys. It's the perfect accessory to complement any outfit, especially during the fall time, because you're letting the cuts of the garments and the color palette speak for itself. And I personally believe that adding a minimal necklace like this is just the finishing touch. They've got plenty of colors that have their Rolls Gold and Black, <laughs> obviously. Two very versatile colors, but you can also get gold and silver. When it comes to jewelry nowadays, I'm either all minimal or very loud. With rose gold and black, almost everything is sleek and minimal, and I'm not a big beaded bracelets guy anymore. So if you're like me, just stick to their necklaces. I really like their minimal ones and their geometric ones as well, or their crystal ones are kind of dope. But if you guys do like beaded bracelets, they have those options for you. If you guys click the link in the description, it's going to take you guys to my special landing page where everything will be heavily discounted just because you guys are viewers of the channel. And also, if you guys enter Vibe 15, I believe, you're going to save even more money on your order. Rose gold and black has been a supporter of this channel for a few years now so i just want to take the time to thank them for that thank you rose gold and black for sponsoring this video and for keeping my lights on if you guys haven't already follow me on instagram at flower johnny tie hit the like button turn it blue leave a comment down below your fall essentials and subscribe